What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to another episode of Chef Z Cooks. Today we are making arepita de maiz. Now, if you guys love these golden delights, oh my goodness, you are in for a treat. Now, if you follow me on Instagram and you've actually seen my latest reels, then you know that it actually took me a while to perfect this recipe. And if you love these as much as I do, then hang tight because I'm going to be sharing all of my tips and tricks so that they come out perfect each and every single time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Arepita de maíz are actually really easy to make. In fact, you don't even have to prepare this ahead of time. You can make this every morning and enjoy with a nice hot cup of coffee. So to get started, I actually like to warm up the evaporated milk, but you can definitely use regular milk if you want instead. I find that warming up the milk actually makes the dough come together even better. And then to the milk, we're gonna add some sugar and then some salt, which is actually going to balance everything out. And then we're going to add some anise seeds along with some butter. We're gonna mix that until it's well combined. And then you wanna keep a close eye on the milk because as soon as it starts to steam up and come up to temperature, then you know everything is ready. And now we're gonna go ahead and actually start making the dough. So what I like to do is I like to take the pot with the warm milk, set it off to the side, and then into our corn meal and I like to use a fine one we're going to add two eggs and just make sure that you actually crack the egg and not like me and don't worry if you break the yolk because honestly everything is going to be mixed together and truly come alive now this is also a dish that you can make if you have kids at home just because it's an like a really nice fun baking stove top dish so once we've mixed in the eggs into la harina which is the cornmeal we're gonna go ahead and then we're going to take a ladle but you want to be careful not to spill all of that warm milk and have a huge accident just like I did. So we're going to take a ladle and because it has raw eggs, you just want to add it little by little because at the end of the day, you don't actually want to scramble the eggs into your cornmeal. So adding it little by little is actually going to temper the eggs and it's going to allow the eggs to come up to temperature. And honestly, you don't have to overthink this. It's just really easy it comes together really quickly like I mentioned before this is something that you can make the morning of right before you're going to enjoy it you could even make it ahead of time just if you want to have the dough and la masa ready to go so once I've added about a third of the milk I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of it and I like my masa to be a little bit on the wet side now you can make it a little bit on the drier side honestly it doesn't really change the consistency too much much. I just like that when I fry my arepitas that they come out nice and fluffy. We're going to let that rest for about 5 to 10 minutes while our frying oil comes up to temperature. Now here is where you can make the arepitas a little bit different. So I actually like to add them to the oil and then shape them inside the oil. And speaking of shapes, you can make them a variety of different shapes. So my grandmother used to make them estilo chulitos like you see here. They're like almost like little mini cigars, but you can also make them flat as well. Now, I personally do not like to burn my hands in the oil, which is why I like to shape them in the oil. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. But if you're comfortable shaping them in your hand and then placing them into the oil, you can totally do that. After a few minutes, you want to go ahead and flip them over. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but we are frying this on medium low flame because it allows them to cook all the way inside. And once they have this nice golden color, then you know it's ready to go. And feel free to enjoy with a nice hot cup of coffee con leche, which is what I like to do. Until next week, I'm Chef Z y buen provecho. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Now, these are absolutely delicious. Okay, I actually wanna have one. Oh, look at that, so nice and warm. Now, don't go too far because I post new recipes each and every single day. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click that bell so that you're notified. And you guys know what to do. Click right there for more inspiration. It's time for me to eat. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just like